Francesco, and he says, I did that route and I'm alive today. The Windsor team are the best. Bless you all. I'm sure that you might hear that uh, a little bit. Thanks again for sharing that and happy to hear about your positive experience. And we've also heard from Therese Cahill and she says, wow, this is a great idea to help put people's minds at ease so that they know what will happen during the treatment. And thanks for adding that to the conversation. And that's exactly what we're trying to do here today. So please, if you have any questions throughout, don't forget to post. I have a question for you, Sandra. Um, tell me about the outfit that you're wearing. Um, this is called a dignity robe. I call it my smock, my cancer <laughs> smock. And it has Velcro coming up the sides and then in the front and better access to the radiation area. Um, these were actually donated through the Cancer the Care yep, Foundation. The cancer and um, there are volunteers that have made all of these. And they make us feel comfortable while we're here. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. And so you put this on so that when you get up here, you can easily access the areas yeah, that you they, need they to. They just work with Velcro <laughs> and away we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So you're on the table. How are you feeling at this point when you're receiving treatment? Um, it doesn't hurt, actually, if that's what you were wondering. Yeah. But I don't feel it at all. Um, I didn't get anything until probably the last couple of weeks. Um, that's when I start feeling the burns. Um, the burns were the worst part. Um, I had 29 in total, just as you said. 25 were the regular ones, and then I had four boosters. It was during the boosters where I got the burns and the blisters. But you know what? I went through all that. It was painful, but I'm here today, and that's all that counts. Absolutely. Yeah. And she mentioned the burns. Is yeah. that a common side effect? Uh, yeah, it's very common. It's, it's kind of like a sunburn. Oh, that's how it can start out. Oh. Some people coast through, and they don't see anything. It depends a lot on skin type. Mm -hmm. Everyone is different, so that's one thing we stress is that, on average, people get kind of like a sunburn in the treatment area, mm -hmm. but it depends on the person. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Right. So we've got Pixie, she's all ready, she's got her mask on, she's not going to move. What's next? You guys? Uh, so we've placed the mask on, so now we're going to basically take the patient out of the machine and we're going to use those landmarks on the mask to kind of get her uh, kind of preliminarily set up under the machine in the right spot. Okay. We're going to do... Sorry, we're going to take a step back and let you uh, sure, do sure. your work here. So right now Carol's just bringing us up to the where the treatment table needs to be so that we're in the right spot. And if you come in a little bit closer, you can see that we have a laser system in the room and that helps us put, put the marks kind of exactly in the right spot underneath the machine where the radiation is gonna be fired. I'm good there, Rob, how are you on your side? That looks good on my side. Okay. So everything looks good with these landmarks. So now I'm gonna verify by moving the treatment, uh, by moving this machine to the first treatment angle. So I'm actually just gonna cut the lights out here for a second. So this is where the, the actual x-rays, those high energy x-rays that we fired from, and we have what's called little little lead leaves that kind of shape the radiation beam. So you can see where the light is coming out, that's exactly where the radiation is coming out, and I'm just verifying that the, radi or the, the leaves are blocking out the face. We don't want to treat the face, we're just trying to treat the brain in this case. So I can see that everything looks good, yeah. face is shield, and I also have what's called an ODI, an optical distance indicator. And it gives me a readout of how far the patient is from the machine. So I'm just verifying that. That's about 7 cm. So it's about a depth of 7 centimeters. Or a, it's about a distance of 93 centimeters from where the radiation is coming. So everything looks good here. So that's my first verification. Uh, I'm going to swing around and check the left side as well. So again, uh, probably 90% of the time that we're, we're working is we're making sure we're treating in the right spot. Uh, the radiation is actually only on for about a minute or two, um, but for 90% of the time before that, we want to make sure our aim is our aim is true. So again, I'm just verifying everything looks good here. Our shielding's in place. So everything looks good on the outside. 
Um, we're going to step outside in a second and we're going to take an actual verification x-ray so that I can see everything on the inside and make sure our aim is truly in the right spot. Okay, Pixie, we're going to head outside and get started. I mean, unfortunately, I can't stay in the room, especially not for every patient. Uh, I probably wouldn't get hurt if it was for one, but for every patient of the day that might... <laughs> not safe. Not safe, no, no. So we're going to basically run for the hills and head to the command center or the control area. Um, and so on my way out, I'm just verifying that no one else is left in here. Sometimes family members do come in, but okay. we have to make sure everyone gets out for this. So now I'm going to hit this last man out button, and it's going to put sensors on in the hallway to make sure nobody runs in. You told me that we have to run out the we, way uh, we, we hit can, that button. We can jog, I guess. 